Hi guys and welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Today, I don't have a review to talk about, but I definitely have a topic that is important and I think we should discuss it a little bit. Uh, in the news, as you may have seen there, Disney is in discussions or in talks with Fox to buy pieces of Fox. Now, I don't, from what I understand, I'm not a big business guy, I don't understand a lot of the, the ins and outs of it, but from what it seems like, um, Fox is selling off all of their movie stuff, and that's what Disney is interested in. So the implications that I'm most concerned about with are what does that mean for the future of Marvel properties that Fox currently owns, namely the X-Men and the Fantastic Four, and how that could potentially impact the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which, as you can see, I really enjoy. Um, so I think there is some good and some bad, and I want to talk about both of those here. So let's start off with bad and what I what I don't want to happen if this deal does happen to go through. Um, and that is, I don't know if I particularly want the X-Men to join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think up to this point, clearly the Marvel Cinematic Universe is successful without the X-Men. Um, with the exception of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, which were always more closely associated with the Avengers to begin with in the comics anyway. Um, so I don't know if that character set necessarily lends itself to bolstering the Marvel Cinematic Universe as it stands today. Um, I, I, I honestly think that given how many characters are associated with the X-Men, that it could just further muddle and water down what we know as the MCU as. So I don't know if I like that. Also, unlike the DC Cinematic Universe, Fox's X-Men um, Brian Singer universe is doing fairly well. They've had some missteps with Wolverine Origins and X-Men The Last Stand, which I actually kind of like. But for the most part, they're doing all right. I mean, X-Men 1 and 2 are fantastic. Um, X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past, and Logan and Deadpool are all amazing, good good to amazing film films. So I don't know if I want to break that by moving all that over under the MCU banner. So I think if this deal goes through and 20th Century Fox still kind of is its own thing underneath kind of the Disney banner, it's still its own company, but it's just a subsidiary, I think, of, of Disney, and they're still kind of left to their own devices, that's what I would prefer. Let Deadpool be Deadpool, let Logan be Logan, let the the group X-Men movies like Future Days of Future Past and First Class remain their own thing, at least until they run out of steam and they become more bad than good, then you can probably reboot them, roll a couple characters into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, wherever that is, and five, ten years down the line. Now, what I would like to happen if this deal between Fox and Disney goes through, um, I absolutely want the Fantastic Four to be rolled into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. No one knows what to do with the Fantastic Four on their own on the big screen. There was that movie forever ago that got made and never got released on video. Just It was one of those movies where you make the movie just to keep the rights and it's almost never seen the light of day. You can probably pick up a bootleg at a convention or find it online somewhere. I've never watched it. I don't have an interest in it. Then there were the two. The first one was okay and then the second one was hot garbage with Chris Evans, ironically, as the Human Torch. And then that kind of petered out and then there was the garbage fest that was Fant Four Stick a couple years ago that I never even bothered watching. If someone gave me the DVD or the Blu-ray, I wouldn't even watch it. I'd just stick it either on or behind the shelf and kind of forget that I owned it. So those characters absolutely deserve a shot to be part of the MCU. And not only that, I think them being in the, in the MCU is almost essential to the MCU's future. Now, we haven't seen Infinity War yet or Black Panther, so we don't know where the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going. Kevin Feige has said that post um, Avengers Four, the movie after the Avengers movie after Infinity War, everything will change. The change, whatever that amounts to, post that movie in 2019, I believe. I could be wrong. And then there's going to be 20 movies after that. Now, if you're going to go 20 movies after that and leave the character set that we currently have behind, 
Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, some some of those those big names, Hulk. If we're going to leave those behind, we need another core group to carry the MCU into the future. And what better group to do that than Marvel's first family in the Fantastic Four? Not only that, in my opinion, once we get through Thanos and in Infinity War and Avengers 4, there needs to be some sort of escalation in the villain because that just seems natural. And what better way to escalate past Thanos than to go right into Galactus? Get the Silver Surfer in there, more celestial stuff like Adam Warlock playing in with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And once you get Fantastic Four, Galactus comes right along with it. So that could be Avengers... You know, we could have Silver Surfer as Avengers 5, and then Avengers 6 is Galactus All Roads leading to that. Not only that, with Fantastic Four, you also get, um, I believe, Namor. So you get Atlantean stuff, which to the general audience may seem a little derivative of Aquaman by the time that would get put into theaters, but who cares? It could still be great. And having those characters interact with all the current MCU characters, or at least the ones that are going to carry through, would be amazing. So if this deal between Disney and Fox goes through, there's some bad things to weigh, there's some good things to weigh, um, not even counting thinking about monopolies in Hollywood and how many studios own, how many studios. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the MCU. That's where my priorities are. So those are my thoughts on it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you want the X-Men in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which Kevin Feige seem, himself seems pretty high on. Do you want the Fantastic Four in the MCU, or do you want both of those properties to remain independent of that? I'd love to hear your comments, so hit me up in the comments below and follow me and or continue the conversation on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Will Beard Reviews. Until next time, see you at the cinema.